<clears throat> for today, I'm going to focus my limited time on how TikTok can better protect its youngest users. And I think a number of us have identified as parents today and have serious concerns as we relate to you. Just this week, I heard from a parent in my district in Nashua, New Hampshire, whose child was served harmful content on TikTok and has needed counseling as a result. This experience is not unique to this family and it underscores the need for better child protections on your app. I'd like to dig further into TikTok's current safety and privacy controls for children. I understand that TikTok restricts certain app capabilities for users under age 18 and has additional restrictions for users under age 16 or 13, such as limiting who can interact with them on the platform. However, these protections are worthless if any savvy child can easily bypass these age restrictions by deleting their own account and creating a new one with a different age. And by easily, I mean you can literally go in and open another account using the same uh, email address. So I've been made aware by child safety groups, including Fair Play for Kids and Common Sense, that it is that simple for young users to bypass the age restrictions on TikTok. Yes or no, are you aware of this issue? I apologize. I think that's a great uh, issue question that you raised. Um, if a user inputs an age and is blocked, my understanding is that if the user tries to do it again within a short period of time, um, and I won't disclose We publicly. did it in our office yesterday. You can go right back in, use the exact same email address, and open a new account. So can I get your commitment that you will at least fix that bug? I, I will go and have a look at it, yes. Thank you. Um, if, if we're here today to talk TikTok and not other platforms, but I'm happy to look at legislative solutions. In the interim, TikTok has a responsibility to do more to protect its young users, and I will accept your commitment to take a look at fixing that issue. Will you, um, let's see, sorry, I recognize that TikTok has made efforts to provide parents and guardian increased options to monitor and limit their child's activity on the app, including family pairing, and time limit features, but I still have concerns. In order to access family pairing, parents then must download the app onto their phone. And this sounds like a design to lure more users onto the app rather than a practical safety feature. Furthermore, downloading the app may not be a viable option for many patients, uh, parents. Mr. Chu, will TikTok commit to developing other methods for parents to monitor their child's use of the app without having to download the TikTok app on their phone? I, I can look into that specifically and get back to you. But the okay. family pairing that you mentioned is, is a very good tool that we develop. I encourage parents with teenagers but to use it. But it's not a to perfect tool. And let me just say, one of my concerns is that um, the minimum time limit TikTok lets parents set for their children is 40 minutes, which for a young child is a very long period of time. Actually giving parents control would mean providing them the freedom to set the screen time that makes sense for their family. Now, I've got a copy of the uh, app page that shows just the four options would you commit to adding an other option so that the parent can easily set their own screen time limit? I can take a look at that. Um, I think it's important. I think parents are looking for control. They're looking to uh, allow their family to use these apps without TikTok taking over um, their child's uh, media use. Um, I've heard use reports, I've heard reports of users struggling to access the feature, and so I will look forward to um, hearing back from you on adding an other so that a parent can add a custom limit. So finally, I ask that you commit to report back to this committee and the American public on how TikTok addresses these safety issues and the steps that you are taking to default children's accounts 
to the most protective possible settings. And with that, Madam Chair, I yield back.